The lights shine brightly over Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Castrol GTX Cup Series All-Star event. The Winston's, the Winston All-Star race here, but today here, before we get to that um, epic event, it's the, it's the running of the Winston All-Star Open. This is the um, the last chance qualifier per se for all the cars that are not yet qualified for the All-Star event itself. So we'll get to see what, see what happens here as the... As the 18 cars that are not yet qualified for this race, or I should say 20 cars that are there, and 20 cars that are not yet qualified for this event are all lined up to see who will be in the top five that will make it in to the All-Stars itself. So here's your starting line for the race running event. On the pole, it is, it is the, um, it is, the, it is Noah Sewell qualifying in the Interstate Batteries Chevrolet on the pole. Beside him is Laura Chung in car 75, the Raymond Oldsmobile. Row 2 has car 15, Aubrey Scott in the Motorcraft Ford, and Tori Gossett in the Quaker State B Ford, car number 26. Next row down has car number 30, Zachary Fitzwater, a two-tumbler last season. He's alongside number 5, Austin Reed. He would love to make it into the All-Stars as well, too. So would Fitzwater for that fact. Going to number 4, it's Nathan Orman in car 33, and number 83, John Andrews. Next row down is number 55, Alexander Rowe, and number 25, Colin Cropley. Next row down has number 90, Caleb Fogler, and beside him will be number 9, Cody McGurk. Next row down has number 12, Christian Bracken, and number 22, Mitchell Hodak. Then it's number 43, Mike Becker, who was robbed of victory in the Daytona 500 this season. Number 43, STP Pontiac, and beside him will be number 17, Reggie Fogelman, in the Western Auto Chevrolet. Next row, 48, Rumpel Furniture, Pontiac, Rumpel Racing, Pontiac of West McCoy. He's alongside number 10, Andrew Miller. Then it's number 7, Lyle Austin, and number 98, uh, Ryan Brommer. And starting shotgun is number 49, Tino McCoy, and number 68, Ben Cohen. That's how they, they will qualify for the Winston All-Star Open. This is the All-Star, as I mentioned, is the last chance qualifier. The top five finishers in this event will transfer his or her way into the Winston All-Star Race here. And, of course, if he finishes sixth on back, then, well, better luck in the Coca-Cola 600 here. We, and we will be also broadcasting qualifying for the Coca-Cola 600 as well, too, um, <clears throat> after this race here. So you stay tuned for that here on right here on the Internet CRA Sports and Gaming Channel. So, as we always say, the Internet CRA, offline racing at its best, and even qualifying at its best as well, too. So with that all said, here's the command to fire the engines for the Winston Open. 20 laps to decide the, who will be the last five to qualify into the into the All-Stars. That's a way to get a race going right here. As the field, as the pace really spilled off of a, off a pit road for the pace up, we'll be back for the start of the Winston Open right after this. Field coming off corner number four right here. Pace car comes off on the pit road. Noah Sewell and Laura Chung will lead into the start-finish line to take the green flag to start the Winston All-Star Open. As we, as I like said, 20 laps of racing to decide who will be the last five to qualify into this season's All-Star Race. The penalty you do pay, however, though, for being the last five to qualify is you will be the last five starting spots in the race as well too you'll you'll start uh however many positions on back it is right there 15 cars by already qualified for the all-stars by virtue of being either a past season champion or a race winner between the daytona 500 and the uh sonoma 300 of course so the last race we brought to you on the tour in the points points point series in the castrol gtx cup series Aubrey Scott and they takes the lead right now as the 18 car of Noah Sewell led the first lap. As they come off turn number four right now, or actually go through turns three and four, five car of, of Austin Reed has the lead right now for the time being, the number five tied ride. And he'll lead his first lap of the race here. Number, turn number one, they come right here. Nathan Ormond goes out on top.
Off the fourth tournament come right here. Austin Reed on the outside right there. Nathan Orman led the last time by. So going to turn number one right now. You're on board Austin Reed's car. Sorry for the static here on the sound uh, on the sound bite right there because we are testing a sound. Um, we are testing a sound um, pack for in, in this series right there, and apparently it's too staticky. So we'll uh, ditch this sound effect for the for when we get to the All Star race itself. Sound these cars are not bad though; it's just too much static. Mike Becker goes out in front right now. Wes McCoy up to second position in car number 48 in the third spot now. Are trying for... Actually, Wes McCoy is actually trying for second position in the number 48 car. Mike Becker leads them down in the number 43 machine as they come off turn number four. Becker has the top spot for the time being. McCoy trying to give pursuit now in that number 48 machine as they come off turn number four now. And here comes number seven. That's Lyle Austin, the Hooters 4, trying to join... I don't think any of Colin Cropley's drivers have won a season right there. I see, I see Cropley's in this race, so is um, Christian Bracken, so is Lyle Austin, so is uh, Noah Sewell, and so is Aubrey Scott. So, yeah, none of his drivers have won a season. Lyle Austin dives inside meantime, though, as he as he makes it three wide off turn number four, and he is going to push the 48 up into this. I think he's going to push the 48 up into the 43 car, and he is going to, and then he's going to have a massive crash. Coming off that fourth corner right there, and now that 48 car is in a very vulnerable spot as they go through turns number one and two. And look out, that number 49, Tino McCoy goes to the inside. They're going to be there three wide, two rows deep. Christian Bracken and the um, 43 car, Mike Becker, they're both on the high side there. And they're also in a vulnerable spot because, because, because if something slips up, they'll both be into the wall and a, and a crash will happen, as we mentioned, off that fourth corner. Right now it's Mitchell Hodak up front right now as he comes up as he comes into turn number one now. Tino McCoy goes inside for second position and he's got it with Colin Cropley shoving him in the number 25 car. Ryan Brommer up, the, up there behind. Cody McGurk, you'd like to join his teammate, Quentin Moore, who's already in the All-Star All himself by virtue of being, being the past series champion. And Tori Gossett would like to join Quentin as well, too, in that number 26 machine right there. But she's way back in the back for the time being. In turn number one, now goes Cropley. He'll take the second position away. And now Ryan Brommer dives inside here. He'll push, he'll move his way in the fourth position now. And Cropley's going for the lead in that number 25 machine. He'll take the spot away from the 22 car of Mitchell Hodak. And now Tito McCoy goes uh, up behind him for second position, and he's got it. One hundred seventy-three point nine four one average speed, uh, fastest lap race so far. Is that set by that is set by Caleb Fogler, and the car is then um, uh, off pace. That's Ben Cohen in sixty-eight car. He is way off pace in number in a country time Oldsmobile. And that's another one of Collins' drivers as well too. Colin, you remember? I mean, Quint, uh, Cohen, as you remember, won at Bristol the night race at Bristol last season and shocked them all in that event for his first ever victory. And now Tino McCoy goes to second position now. And here comes nine car of Cody McGurk. And he's got Laura Chung behind him in a 75. Raymond Oldsmobile. And right now Mitchell Hodak has got the bumps. He's got the bubble spot. He's in fifth position. Reggie Fogelman breaks out of that bunch. So does Andrew Miller. So does Tori Gossett. So does Zachary Fitzwater. Noah Sewell. And Brommer tries to squeeze in between the 15 and 5 cars there, but that's not to be happening right there. And drivers like uh, John Andrews, Mike Becker, Christian Bracken, and, well, I was going to say Alexander Rowe, but Rowe's now um, says, screw it, he's going inside right there. He pulls up, falls in behind Nathan Orman in 33, and now Andrews squeezes in, in front of that 55 car of um, Andrews. I, mean, I should say of, of, of Rowe, I should say, Alexander Rowe.
Back to the leaders, it is now Cody McGurk in car number nine, the Melling Performance Ford out in front now, and here comes Laura Chung, second position now, and here comes Mitchell Hodak in that 22 car, tries to get him, does it pick him up a couple spots. But now Wes McCoy, 48 car. Trying to go to the inside, the inside lane right there, and now Chung and Hodak decide to hook up now, and here comes the three wide battle right there, cropping on the outside of the 30 car of Zachary Fitzwater and the 26 of Tory Gossett. And now Gossett moves up the track right now in front of Cropley, but that's going to hinder those that the run that those th those four cars up in the high side have. Well, I was going to say four because now Andrew Miller's now moved to the inside lane, falling in behind Noah Sewell in the 18 car. And Mitchell Hodak, low side, goes for the top spot now on Laura Chung. Reggie Fogelman, he's trying to make his way into the all as well, too. He's in the 17 car. He's, he's in a good spot right now. He's in second place. But we are... Laps are winding down. We're down to... We'll be down to five to go in the, in the Winston Open. Zachary Fitzwater, car 30. Low side now. That's for second place between the 30 and 17. And that 18 car, Noah Sewell, the, the pole sitter for the Open. He's up to third position now, trying to put the Joe Gibbs Chevrolet up to the top spot, up, to, up, up in the, in the, into the Winston. Andrew Miller, he's a rookie in the series. He wants to make his, 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 make his first All-Star race. Cropley looks inside of Aubrey Scott in the 15 car down the low side now. And Noah Sewell for the top spot. He'll, he'll take the top spot away. And brings Andrew Miller in a 10 car, the Pure Later Chevrolet with him. That's the Derek Cope colors out of Wickham Racing. And Andrew Miller, top spot now for the number 10 car. Can he hold off? Or can we at least get a hold on to get a spot in the top five? Three laps to go. Mike Becker and Ben Cohen have both lost the draft and maybe the shot at making the top five right there, unless something drastically goes on with, wrong with this, with this whole pack of cars. And now Colin Cropley up to the top spot now. He's going to bring... He's going to bring... Cody McGurk and Tory Gossett, two of the cars out of, out of Q-Man Motorsports. Boy, and Quentin Moore, you know, is watching us with, with all with all interest here. Because he wants to set 9 and 26 cars, 26, 26 and the 9, both in the top 5. And if I know Quentin, is cheering his heart out for both those drivers, regardless of who wins this race. A win, the Winston Open is all is all well and good, though, but, get, but that top five is what they're looking at here. Austin Reed, he can be in a spot. So does John Andrews, the 83 card. Where did he come from? White flag. Alexander Rowe, he's got the last spot for the time being. Gossett, up to the high side now. Drops the third, maybe down the fourth, possibly. Second in the back stretch here. And that number 55 card, here comes... Alexander Rowe, low side, he's got fourth. And here comes Caleb Fogler, down the low side, he's trying to make a last pu second push, and he's got fifth for the time being. So start finish line, Cody McGurk wins the Winston Open. And your top five is going to be Cody McGurk, John Andrews, Al Alexander Rowe, third, Caleb Fogler gets fourth position, and Austin Reed in car number five gets P5 as he will be the last transfer into the All-Star race. What a show in these 20 laps these guys put on. But there's the man, Cody McGurk, averaging 170.184 miles an hour. Gets the win in that milling performance Ford. Just tremendous stuff here. At Charlotte Motor Speedway, I tell you, this is this is what we're going to see. This is a preview for the Winston also race, and I'm all for it. Right there, whoa, Alexander Rowe just about uh, nailed the back, nailed the back of that nine cards. Just about. 
here. But there it is right there. Cody McGurk, John Andrews, Alexander Rowe, Caleb Fogler, and Austin Reed will all advance into the Winston. Just awesome stuff here. Uh, six through there. And uh, Mitchell Hodak. Both, and for both Mitchell Hodak and Tori Gossett. Oh, so close. For those two, Gossett was in the top five at the white flag. She was like third, I think. Second or third, something like that. Then got kicked over the high side at the last second and lost about four or five, about three or four spots. And that dropped her back right there. Mitchell Hodak made a run for it in that number six, in a, in a 2010 at 22 car, but fell seven hundredths short at the line on on Austin Reed right there. So unfortunately for Colin Cropley, none of his cars make the show. Unfortunately for Colin, uh, so it's got to be disappointing for him. Uh, if I know him, obviously it's as well too. Nathan Orman, he comes up in 8th position. Ninth will go to Colin Cropley, and Alal Austin will finish in 10th position. So they did get ninth and 10th, obviously. Uh, so, they get, so they did get 6, 9, and 10 position-wise, though, which is good, running-wise, at least. Uh, but anyway, uh, Zachary Fitzwater comes up in 11th. 12th will go to Christian Bracken, matching his car number. Andrew Miller, 13th. Reggie Fogelman, Noah Sewell, Wes McCoy, Aubrey Scott, Laura Chung, Tina McCoy, Ryan Brommer, and Mike Becker, the top uh, cars to finish on the lead lap. Ben Cohen finished a lap down in 20 seconds. So there you have it with that. 900s was the margin of victory right there, but the but there's your t but that's the Winston Open race here. That's the Winston Open that and the Winston Open. Congratulations to Cody McGurk, the winner of the Winston Open. And we'll be right back for the running of the Winston All Star race right after this. Welcome back to the Charlotte Motor Speedway. The air is electric. The nights are sh the bright lights are shining brightly over this racetrack, and we are set to go for the main event, the Winston All Star Race. And here is your starting lineup in the introduction. On the pole, car number one, the Skull Classic Oldsmobile. Won the season. Again, this again this again this best season being season seventeen champion. It is the Texas Terror Trent Dunham. On the outside of row number one, it's car number two, the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac. He is the defending series champion. He is Dylan Young, the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiac, car number two. Row three, row number two, starting in third position, car number three, the GM Good Ranch Chevrolet. Chevrolet of the uh, uh, paint scheme of his idol, Dale Earnhardt. He is also winner this season at Sonoma and two time series champion. He is Cole Deaver. Going to row number, starting in fourth position in car number four, the Kodak Film Chevrolet. He is caught. He is he is he got his first win ever in the in the series the season at Richmond, Virginia. He is Eric Monaco in his first ever All Star start. Starting in fifth position in car six, the Valvoline Ford, the Daytona 500 champion this season. It's Paul Mick. And on the outside of him in row number four, it's car number eight, the Snickers Ford. He is the you know one of the driver one of the two drivers in the series out of Kentucky, the Snickers Ford. He is he is a three time series champion. He is Joshua Osborne. Runner, starting in ninth position in car number eleven, the Boas are four, the six time series champion. She won a season at Martinsville, Virginia. She is always touched. She's Jessica Shelton. Next row down is the driver who won a season eight champion champion back when she was known as Johnny Gardner. Car 16, the Keystone Beer Ford. It's Allie Liara. Going to the next row down is car 21, the Sitgo Ford, the two-time series champion, the Q man himself. He's Quentin Moore. He also won a season at North Wilkesboro. Outside of him in car 28, the Texaco Havilland Ford. He won a season at Rockingham. He's also a series, former series champion. That happened back in season 27. He is Keith Batson. Next row down is car number 42, the Meliella Pontiac, the three-time series champion himself, the proud Buckeye and the proud American from the state of Ohio. He's Kyle Matthews. And also a person that don't take crap off anyone. Next row down is car 52, the Isaacs Track Shack, Hurley Limo Ford, the leader of the internet CRA himself. He is up for season 20 series champion and also winning the season at Atlanta. He's Seth Cole. Next row, next, starting next row down is car 66, the Phillips 66 Trump Arctic Ford. The winner of the season of the Winston 500 at I'm hoping to have the Maple Leaf flag flying high in victory lane in the All-Star Race. He's Raphael LaDuke. 
Next row down has Car 71, a season 15 series champion. Car 71, the, Ma the, Ma the Mega Ball Markets Chevrolet. Winner of the season at Bristol, he is the California Crusher. He's Charles Sanford. Next row down is Car number 94, the season 1 series champion. Yep, he goes back that far. Another driver of the state of Kentucky, the Western end of Kentucky, that is. The Sunoco Ultra Chevrolet car number 94. He is Dylan Poteet. Starting alongside of him, the man who who got his race by winning this by winning the All-Star Open, the number nine milling performance Chevrolet Ford. He is making his first ever All-Star start. He's Cody McGurk. Going the next row down is car 83. Also making his first ever All-Star start, the PRX detergent Ford. He is John Andrews driving car number 83. Beside him will be car number 55. Also making his first ever all-star start, the number 55 Jasper Engines and Transmissions Chevrolet. He's Alexander Rowe. Next row down is car number 90, the, the Split Fire Spark Plugs Ford. He finished fourth in the Winston, in the Winston Open. He's Caleb Fogler making his first ever all-star start and, and starting shotgun. The guy who got in by getting the fifth and final transfer spot from the open, the number five, tied Chevrolet. He is Austin Reed. And that is your 20 cars. That's gonna, that makes up the starting lineup for the season 36. Winston All-Star Race at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And let the race begin as, as we're about to give the command to fire the engines for this event. The energy is so high at Charlotte, it's like, it's like, it's so, it, the energy is so high at Charlotte, it's like, it's pegged, a, pegged like the back, like the tachometer on the backstretch at Martinsville, pretty much. By the, get, uh, as the, as the wheel rolls around for the pace up, pace up, pace, pace up, we'll be back for the start of the Winston All-Star Race right after this. In the turn number three now. 20 cars, all with one goal in mind, to win the prestige that is the Winston All-Star Race. It's no points, but a whole lot of bragging rights and a, an all prodded stake in this event here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. As they come off to number four, pace car comes on the pit road. 20 laps in the first segment and 20 laps in the second segment to decide, to decide the whole thing. Green flag flies, and here we go at Charlotte. You can bet after the Winston All-Star Open there with the drivers who transferred their way in, they, you, you, you can bet them and along with the other 15 cars that already qualify for this event by virtue of being either a series champion or a winner between the Daytona, between the Daytona 500 and at Sonoma, the last points being raised, points being raised on the tournament, you can bet they have their all cars all hopped up, pumped up, everything out there. And you can bet they left nothing in the trailer as well too. This is, and they are going to go for it. I bet you they'll probably do a so in a 600 as well, too. <clears throat> the next points paid race afterward, points paid race afterward, as I said, we will have qualifying for you on the Interstate Sports and Gaming Channel after this All-Star Race as, uh, as well, too, to qualify for the Coca-Cola 600. Paul Minnick led the first lap of this race here, and now the second lap may, be belong, may, belong, may belong to Jessica Shelton as she goes in, as it comes across our finish line. Yes, she does. Jessica leads that lap over Quentin Moore in car number 21, and Kyle Matthews in 42 to the low side. The winner of the season at Darlington in the Southern in the um, Love's Travel Stop 500, while Quentin got his victory this season at North Wilkesboro. Off turn number four, they come here. Matthews out in front, and Raphael LaDuke in car 66, the Philip 66 Trop Arctic Pot Ford. That car was a Pontiac last season, actually. I don't know why I keep saying it's a Pontiac. Dylan Poteet, the third, third, the second position right now, the number 94 machine. Down the backstretch, they come here, and two of the transfers from the All Star Open, John Andrews and Caleb Fogler. Both moving away up through the field nicely. They're up to third and fourth right now already. And I tell you, since we switched to the Charlotte 1994 version um, for in the series, there are quite a few seasons back, though. We have seen nothing but great racing on this race track. And you're going to get a spectator's view from, of, the whole, of, the, of the action for a, a lap. 
And coming off turn number two right now here is as Dylan Poteet leading the pack. It's Andrew second, and now Caleb Fogler tries to make a move to the low side of Andrews' Ford in the number 83 car. With the push from Charles Sanford in 71 and the five of Austin Reed, the fifth and final transfer into this race from the open. Down back stretch to come here. You're on board with Charles Sanford in car 71. Wonder to see at Bristol in the Food City 500. As they go into turn number three now, Sanford down the low side. Poteen try, trying to block the low side. Off the fourth turn to come here as Sanford brings it down to start. Uh, San, Sanford goes inside, I should say, of Poteen to start finish line. Charles's last lap, 176.789 miles an hour, but he'll take the lead in the turn number one. And that big Apple Markets shuttle, and now you're riding with Keith Batson in car 28. Hoping to do the same thing with Baby Allison did this race in 1992, the year of this car set. That's when, when they all heard the stars and stuff, except uh, he hopes to not crash like Baby did in 1992 at this event. You talk about pumped up and hopped up and everything. These cars in CTS physics, usually if we do the normal uh, the normal ratings here, we'd go about, we'll probably do about almost 170 miles an hour in race trim there. But this race as well itself too, they have pumped those cars up a lot for this event. So they have, so they pumped them up to almost 180 miles per hour a lap. I see in Batson's last lap, uh, Batson's lap I should say 178.153, that's Batson's fastest lap of the event as Cody McGurk led the last time by. And look at this there, one, first through 20th, 1.1 seconds. And in fact, Seth Cole has the fast race so far at 178.365. And he was in second place, but now he's now moved to the high side and lose that spot to the pole sitter, Trent Dunham. And Ali Liara, car 16, the Keystone Beer Ford. Moves low side there. Remember, remember, Allie was champion in season eight back when she was back when she was Johnny Gardner. So even the change in name though, you hear you go, you go by the history. They go by the history, I should say, in the sport in this series, I should say. But only one championship for Allie and Trent though. Meantime, you got a, they got a three-time champion behind them, Joshua Osborne in car number eight, the Snickers Ford. And Joshua will, will push Ali to the low side now. And Osborne's got Cole Deaver behind him in car number three, the GM Goodwrench Chevrolet. He's got key, he's got the four car, Eric Monaco. Low side as well, too. And I tell you, Eric Monaco, as we mentioned, who just won a season at Richmond, the uh, first his first ever victory in this series. And you know Eric would like to pull out, would like to get a, get an all-star victory himself too in that number four car in his, in his maiden voyage in this event. Eleven down, nine to go in segment number one. And remember the winner in the first segment. And remember the running order after the, at the end of the segment will be your starting lineup. For segment number two, and that's, that's going to be the twenty, the final twenty lap segment for all the marbles in this event. So, so as we said, no points, but all pride at stake in this event. Here, as we go into turn number one, Dylan Young dives low, takes the lead away from Eric Monaco, and now Quentin Moore and Jessica Shelton fall behind him as well too. The the twenty one and the eleven cars. She's got Kyle Matthews behind her, behind her in car number 42. Young now caught up in the high side now. Matthews gets by. Caleb Fogler, the split fire spark plugs for that red, white, and blue machine. Up to fourth position now. Remember, Fogler finished fourth in the All-Star Open. So he, as we mentioned, that's how he got in. 
in the transfers doing very very well in this event here obviously it is and we and we've, and we've had seasons where transfers from the open actually won the event and if say for instance keith batson did it in season three he got in by by making it in via the winston open and then went on to win the all-stars himself too in that very same season Off turn number four, Paul Menick, and then the Valvoline Ford, car number six. So looks like he's got his car 66 behind him. That's Raphael Leduc, the, the Canadian out of, the, out of the province of Quebec. The Trop Arctic Field 66 Ford. And like we said, look, like I said, Leduc hopes to have that Maple Leaf flag flying in victory lane. And he, and he also sorts himself too. And he'd also like to do the same thing in the 600 as well, too. He did so at Talladega. In the Winston 500, as now Leduc goes low side, tries to take, tries to take the lead away from Minnick. He's got another transfer from the... He's got two transfers... Actually, three transfers from the open behind him. John Andrews in 83, Austin Reed in the 5, and the 55 of Alexander Rowe. All behind him as well. So you got Chevy, Ford, and... Sh you got she Ford, Chevy, and Chevy in the low side. And then, then two more Chevys. That's Poteet 94 and Sanford in 71. And then the Oldsmobile of Trent Dunham in car number one, the black and white machine, the Skull Car. Up behind as well, too. Dunham that time by clock in the eighth position. Just getting past Quentin Moore in the 21 Sitco machine. And Austin Reed. Low side of the race right here takes the position away here. When we talked about we talked at Sonoma, last race in the tour, how much how Austin Reed would like to get his way, make his way back in the victory lane this season. In that tie machine, he hopes to get himself back in the victory lane. Drivers like he and Caleb Fogler, they pride themselves on on having better, on getting better runs and better races during their career. Right there and they're and they're both hard charging, want to get after it drivers. As for darn sure. On that here, Alexander Rowe now has the top spot as we're coming to the white flag in segment number one. Charles Sanford, he would like to start pole for the for the second segment himself too. But here comes Dunham, low side the number number one car, and here comes the All Star Open winner. That is Cody McGurk in the nine car. He'll die to the inside lane. That Melling performance Ford as he as he come off turn number two. <coughs> About to complete segment number one here. Cody McGurk, the low side. He's got the tie. He's got that run. He won segment number He won the Winston Open. Seth Cole goes to the low side. Now tries to take it away from him to the start finish line. That was so close to the line, but give it to the Winston Open winner. Cody McGurk wins segment number one in the Melling Performance Ford. I tell you, he has got. I tell you, I watched that nine car. I watched over that nine car in segment two. That is, what, that is that appears to be one of the cars to watch here to win the whole thing here. Can he do it? We'll find out. So your top ten running right now is Cody McGurk, Seth Cole, Keith Batson, Trent Dunham, Eric Monaco, then Charles Sanford, Joshua Osborne, uh, Alexander Rowe. Dylan Young and Dylan Pote, the top 10 right now. We'll be back for, for segment number two right after this. Back at Charlotte Motor Speedway in Charlotte, North Carolina, as we are set to go for segment set to go for segment two of the Winston Alls race. And this is the 20 laps that will this is the 20 laps that will sell the whole thing. Here today, as here, as the set, 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 set the field for you, Cody McGurk is your leader. Second is Seth, Seth Cole. Third position is Keith Batson. Fourth is is Trent Dunham. Fifth position is Eric Monaco. Sixth is Charles Sanford. Then it's Joshua Osborne. Seventh, eighth position. Ninth is seventh position. I should say. Eighth is Alexander Rowe. Ninth is um. Ninth right now is Dylan Young. Dylan Pote is in tenth position as the green flags, but the fly pace car comes off on the pit road. 20 laps to settle the Winston also race for season 35. Season 36, excuse me. The green flag flies and we're under back underway at Charlotte. 
And you can bet these guys have made pit stops, they, they made the adjustments they needed for this final 20 lap run. This is a 40 lap race overall, 60 if you want to count the laps in the Winston Open. So this is the exact same distance as we have for the 600. In fact, in fact they will have a 40 lap race at Charlotte later this season for stop 28 of the season at the uh, here on this track for the Melly Yellow 500, which will be a 40 lap event. <clears throat> It'll be 60 for the 600. Keith Batson leads the first lap. Eric Monaco, low side to the second position, second, second division at number four. Kodak Machine. Osborne to third, Osborne to the second position. Now he's got the push from Dylan Young and Ali Liara. To the low side goes Osborne for the number two, for the number one spot. He's got it. The number, the red, the brown and red, the brown and kind of reddish, orangish Snickers machine. That car was eventually was a Buick last season and was white and red. And of course, you do see the Snickers wrappers, though. They are brown, so. <laughs> I, guess you might say, uh, I guess you might say that made that car look like a Snickers wrapper, I guess you might say. But anyway, uh, Dylan Young is your leader of this, of this event. Now they got beer cars first and second position. Now they make it first, second, and fourth as Jessica Shelton. Those Budweiser in the mix now on Miller, Miller, on Miller and Keystone. Shelton pulling in behind Cole Deaver, two former All-Star winners there, Deaver and Shelton. Paul Minnick dives low side in that Valvoline car. Kyle Matthews behind him in car 42. And then Caleb Fogler and the 21 car of Quentin Moore. All up behind him as they come out that fourth corner now. Averaging so far, just a little over 174 miles per hour, a lap right there that's set by Quentin Moore, that number 21 car. <coughs> as we're now, as we're coming up on the fifth lap of this event here, 15 laps left in, this, in segment number two. Fogor dives inside for second place now in the number, the number 90 car. Quentin Moore behind him, John Andrews in the 83 car. Here comes Rafael Duke in 66 car, Alexander Rowe in 55. Down the low side of the right track they come here, off to number four. Andrews dives inside, he's got LeDuc shutting him, and now Caleb Fogler goes low side. He'll go for the top spot on the number six machine of Paul Minnick, and he'll take the lead away. Ford's, first, Ford's moving the top five right now at this point of the event. And those 20 cars all right together here. Dylan Poteet, you're looking at him in the number 94 car, the Sunoco Ultra Chevy. Inside with Keith Batson in car number 28. <clears throat> and look at his lap there, 175.001 for car 28. Look from Charles Sanford's view in car 71. He's in 10th. He's clocked 10th the last time by his pulls him behind the five car of Austin Reed. <laughs> Oteep ducks low side on who's that? That's Alexander Rowe who led that last time by. Batson down the low side of the racetrack here. Get, tries to stay hooked with, with Stanford's bumper. Chevy's first, second, and third now. Poti, Reed, and Sanford. And then the four to Batson on the, on the low side. Now the 28 car. And here comes that number nine, Cody McGurk. Who, you know, McGurk, let's remember, won the Winston Open. He also won segment number one. Can he make it a clean sweep and win segment number two? We'll find out here in segment number two. 
wins you the event here at Charlotte in the, in the Open. Or right here in the All-Star Race, I should say, too. He already won the Open, so I don't know what I'm talking about here. And that's what it looks like with these cars. They're running 170 mile an hour plus. <laughs> Unless you're running cup physics since over 180 miles per hour plus. Around this racetrack here. And we and I should mention too, we will be qualifying with cut physics, by the way, too, when we do our qualifying show here at Charlotte. For the 600. Seth Cole, low side now, a pair of black cars running behind another Cole, Cole Deaver. Car number three, the GM Goodwrench Chevrolet. Winner at Sonoma this season on the road course. Seth Cole, low side, looks for the top spot. He's got the inside lane. And Eric Monaco moves, moves Aliliara up the track. <clears throat> and here comes car six, Paul Minnick, the Daytona 500 winner in the Valvoline Ford. He's got, he's pushing that four car of Monaco down the lo, on the low side here, up to the top spot there, and brings that, and puts that Marigold yellow number four. Up to the top spot, here comes that red, white, and blue Valvoline machine. Meantime, Dylan Poteet sticks his nose to the inside, and decides to go to the inside lane, which is the better lane at this point, of the, at this juncture of the event. And now Dylan Poteet and Jessica Shelton, moving their way up to the field now, Working on the 14th lap, we'll be down to six to go this time by. And here comes Young inside of Osborne, and Osborne went the last time by. And now Jessica Shelton sticks her nose to the low side. Now Dylan Young. Stays in behind the number two machine right there. And now Rafaela Duke, 66 machine. So it goes inside, Shelton slams the door in LeDuc's face. And now Shelton goes inside now with now five laps to go. Kyle Matthews. Trying to help her as it comes to the, as it comes to the inside lane now. And here comes number 21. That is Caleb. That is Quentin Moore. Matthews inside. Goes for the lead. He's got it through turns three and four. <coughs> and now Quentin Moore goes inside now for the top spot. Austin Reed, best lap of race so far, best lap of the, of the segment, 176.079 miles per hour. And they're not cranking, and they're not playing, they're, they're cranking them up for this, for this final, for this dash to the finish. <clears throat> and Caleb Fogler, fourth, the fourth trans, transfer into the All-Star event via the Open. He get, he's, a, he's at the lead, John Andrews, another transfer, he gets into it. Deaver gets into it. So does Alexander Rowe. Another transfer from the open. Or from the open. And here comes that number nine. Cody McGurk with now three, two and a half laps remaining now in that number nine car. Can he pull off the sweep? I tell you, they trade positions the way they are right now. He may be possibly in the catbird seat. Deaver gets moved to the high side now. Loose out on that battle now. Here comes John Andrews. Can he play? And here, Alexander Rowe pull up an upset. Sanford is in there. McGurk. So here, maybe at least you mentioned all five of the drivers that transferred into the, oh, the All-Star Race had never been in an All-Star Race. Here they come up the fourth turn now. The white flag waves. One to go. Can Charles Sanford... Pull it off here. Here comes number nine. Third turns number one and two.
And Cody McGurk, low side, the number nine, milling performance, four. Oh my gosh, what a story this is going to be for that number 19. Cody McGurk won the Winston Open. He won segment number one. And here he comes on. He's going to make it a clean sweep. Cody McGurk wins the season 36 Winston All-Star Race. Unreal that number nine Melling performance for that car was a rocket ship all race long. And I would not be surprised if he's counted as one of the favorites for the 600 as well, too. The way that car is, the way that car was running, I said, I said after race segment number one, he could be one of the ones to watch in this segment segment. And lo and behold. Yeah, take a cool down lap of honor, Cody. You earned it. He had never won a points pay race in this in his Castrol GTS Cup Series, and now he wins a Winston All-Star event here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Average speed in segment number two, 172.231 miles per hour. He beat Keith Batson by 39 thousandths of a second at the start finish line. I tell you, there been, I tell you, Batson started that charge just a slight bit too late. But it was a top two for the Blue Oval Brigade of Ford. Wow, just tremendous here. Charlotte Motor Speedway, just, I don't know what else to say right here. Austin Reed comes home in third position. Fourth will go to Charles Sanford. Fifth goes to Trent Dunham. Alexander Rowe comes home sixth. Seventh place will go to Paul Minnick. John Andrews, eighth. Aliara, ninth. And Dylan Pote rounds out the top 10. 11th goes to Rafael LaDuke. Cole Beaver, 12th. Joshua Osborne, 13th. Caleb Fogler, 14th. Seth Cole, 15th. Quentin Moore, 16th. Dylan Young, 17th. Kyle Matthews, 18th. Jessica Shelton, 19th. And Eric Monaco will finish in 20th position here. 20 cars less than one second apart at the checkered flag. Unbelievable. So the season 36 Winston All-Star Race is history. Congratulations, congratulations once again to Cody McGurk, the winner of the event. And I tell you, Quentin Moore is probably celebrating in victory lane with Cody right now. You know, as, the, as Q Man Motorsports dominated the event, I'm sure Quentin wishes it was it was himself that, 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 that did the All-Star sweeping. But if anything, he's probably happy for his teammate and friend Cody McGurk that pulls it off here today. And I tell you, if Cody, and Cody could be one of the guys to watch the rest of the season the way this car is running right now to possibly get his very first Casual GTX Cup Series picture. We had about five, six different winners. We had about six or seven different first-time winners last season. So that is very possible. <clears throat> but thanks, for everybody, for tuning in here. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Inner Space Sports and Gaming channel. we got everything on this channel. we got Inner Races. we got... We got in our races, we got gaming videos, we got in our online videos, whatever the president of the industry, Seth, Seth Colvazar is the half first channel. Be sure to check out Seth's store, Sell Cups, there's the main series on this channel. If you want in our future seasons, um, future seasons of Seth's series, be sure to get with Seth, be sure to get with Seth and he'll get you going. And also be sure to check out our, our other two channels that does in the offline, that channel being, <coughs> that channel being X, A, 6, 7, 5, 3, 9, 8, 5, 8, X, that's Dylan Young's channel, the man who does the industry Spectrum Mobile Cup series. He also does the, the NRSL uh, Universal Orlando Cup Series, and also does the NRSL Outback Steakhouse Xfinity Series as well too. And also check check and also subscribe to Dylan's channel for some cool stuff. Again, that's channel X eight six seven five three nine eight five eight X. And also subscribe to the channel that he and Kyle Matthews does together. That channel being We the Coasters. If you are a roller coaster slash theme park slash, slash amusement park fan, We the Coasters is the channel is the channel for you. And also check out and also be sure to check out subscribe to this channel you're watching here. The NSA sports and gaming channel for sports and gaming channel for some cool stuff as well too. So that would do here today, today at Charlotte Motor Spirit. For now, this is James Qualls is in my production of the NSA celebrating 11 years of off and racing best. Congratulations once again to Cody McGurk, the winner of the season 36 Winston All Stars. We'll see you for for qualifying for the Coca Cola 600.